What's going on, everybody? We are here in the Lower Five community next to, I believe, Church Hall. Yeah, it's Church Hall. And we are asking students what their best piece of advice or tip for incoming first years is. This is our conclusion to our series. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And this is the last one, so roll it. What's the best piece of advice you got? Um, I would say as an incoming first year, I was, I was definitely pretty scared about like the social aspect and making friends. Um, it's it's gonna happen for you. Like you simply just have to open your door, um, sit sit in your lobby, and people are gonna reach out to you because everyone really wants to become friends. So socially, that'd probably be my best piece of advice. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, definitely give yourself like a grace period. Like you're in like a totally new place. Like give yourself time to change, and also make sure you get up and go to class at least once a week. <laughs> at least once a week. At least once a week. Okay. That's, that's a goal. You know. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna cut that part out. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go daily, right? Yes. Hey, I would say going to office hours is really important. Yeah, okay. Um, there we go. Like a lot of people don't go at the beginning, and so if you're looking to get more like of a one-on-one -on -one, uh, relationship with your professor, especially going in those first few weeks when people aren't necessarily as aware of office hours, you can make big jumps right there, making strong relationships with your professor, and also getting a head start. Um, in the beginning of the workload because it's much more difficult to catch up right. than it is to stay on top of it. Yeah, if you get ahead of it, then you don't have to play catch up and the end of your semester is much easier. Exactly. Definitely, for sure. What's your ultimate best piece of advice or tip for incoming first years? I would say try out all of the dining halls. They're so, so good. And don't be afraid to sit down, meet some new people and to study in there. It's super fun. Awesome, super cool. Which one has been like your favorite place to meet people in your experience? Um, I think Bolton is great, but also Snelling has a really cool late night vibe okay. to it because you can celebrate, which is so much fun. Absolutely. You want to explain what celebrating is? I don't, I don't know if everybody knows what that is. I do, but yeah. like, so what do you at, think of it? At yeah. midnight, um, Snelling will actually put out breakfast so you can come in with your friends late night, like around midnight, and then just hang out, grab some pizza at 11.50, and then grab some French toast sticks at 1210. That sounds like yeah. fun. Cool. Awesome. Thank you for explaining what that is. I appreciate yeah. that. And then what's your best ultimate tip? I like that one a lot. Thank you so much. So my ultimate tip um, would more so be for you on like your first week of coming into school. A lot of people get a lot of anxiety on making friends and not knowing anyone because I definitely didn't know anyone when I came in here. Um, I would just recommend keeping your door open that first week and kind of just talking to everyone and, and trying to be friendly, especially with the people in your hall, um, because everyone on their first week is really open to making friends. What is your best pro tip for incoming first years? So it might sound like a kind of obvious one, but do not wait to the last minute to do your laundry because the washing machines fill up very, very quickly and you'll be wearing mismatched clothes and stuff that you would not want to be seen wearing in class. Absolutely, yeah, I think my, uh... My basket's kind of full right now, so I'm going to take that advice later today. And uh, mismatch outfits, you know, this looks kind of crazy, right? Yeah, I had to watch this one for this interview, so. What do you think about the outfit? You like it? Oh, I like it. I don't think that there's any washing machine issues going on there. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, I guess um, coming in as our first year, my biggest thing was, like, the second you get here, try to get involved as much as you can. I am kind of on a huge time schedule all the time, and so like organizations were kind of hard for me to find. But the first week when they have all the different things and like the Myers Quad that you can go to, or things at Tate that you can just like get free stuff, is really a good place for you to meet people. Because I met people like the first week, and I just continue to bump into them throughout the entire year. And so it's really cool to like keep seeing those friendly faces, even when you're having kind of a crappy day. So I would definitely say like go out and meet people that way. I would definitely say don't be scared to make friends. Don't be scared to sit down with someone new and just try to talk because you're going to be here for four years, maybe more, and you want to make those life experiences and those life friends that you can carry on throughout college and after. Awesome. Okay. So what has been your experience with that? Have you met a lot of friends yes. in your dorm and whatnot? Um, so I rushed. So okay. I met a lot of people in my Gamma Chi group, okay. but, and everyone is on my floor is a Gamma Chi. Oh, so we automatically knew everyone who was living with us, but awesome. also it was the first week of school and I had some people that just sat down at a table and was like, hey, we're going to sit with you. And now we're all friends and they live all the way in ECV and yeah. I'm in Brumby. So we got to meet people at like a dining hall. And this one, let's make it something special. 
Uh, I'm going to tell you what my best tip is to you all. So hopefully if you're a first year, I hope you've been watching me. And I uh, hope you'll say hi to me on campus and all that fun stuff. So anyway, my best tip, you know, schedule. Make sure you're not procrastinating. Get your work done. Go to class. And uh, try to be a good student because if you're a good student, then everything else is going to fall in place. This is Bucket Hat Guy signing off. Hats off to you guys.